adaptation in plants. Hey, Jia. Hey, Dodo. Dodo, let's go for planting today. Yeah, sure, Jia. Friends, do you know about plants? Yes, friends, let's learn more about it. Let's go, Jia. Plants. Plants are found everywhere on earth. Different places on earth have different climates. Warm, hot, cold and very cold. Plants develop special features to live successfully in their unique surroundings. Conditions such as weather and soil of place have an effect on the growth of plants. Adaptation. The process of changing to suit the environment is called adaptation. Habitat. The natural home of a plant or an animal is called habitat. Adaptation in plants. Plants can be placed under two major groups according to their habitat. Plants that grow on land. Plants that grow on land are terrestrial plants. They are of different types depending on the place they grow. Plants that grow in water. Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. Terrestrial plants. Terrestrial habitats are deserts, coastal regions, marshes, grasslands, forests, plains and hills. Desert. Desert is hot, dry and sandy. The temperature during the day is very high. A little water availability is present very deep under the ground. Due to scarcity of water, desert plants adapt themselves in order to obtain water from soil, prevent loss of water. Deserts are the areas of land that receive little or no rain. Adaptation of cactus. It stores water in its thick green stem. It uses this stored water when there is no rain. The leaves of the cactus plant change into thin sharp spines to prevent the loss of water through transpiration. The roots of the cactus plants are spread out wide and deep to absorb as much water as possible from the soil. Transpiration is the process of losing water through the stomata of leaves. The leaves of the cactus plants are reduced to spines. The green stem carries out photosynthesis for the plant. Hills. During winters, there is snowfall in some areas. Trees that grow in hills have adapted themselves to survive the cold conditions. The temperature in the hills varies from cold to extremely cold. For example, pine, spruce, fir and cedar found in hilly areas. Marshes have plenty of water and clay soil. In clay soil, there are very little air spaces between the soil particles. Plants and marshes have adopted so that their roots obtain fresh air. Do not get choked or rotten with water. Roots of the plants growing here do not get enough air to breathe. Mangrove trees grow in marshes. Their roots do not get air under the soil and hence grow above the soil to breathe. Such roots are called breathing roots. Plains. It is neither too hot nor too cold. The plains have a moderate climate. There is sufficient rainfall. Evergreen and deciduous trees. Trees such as coconut, mango, shisham and teak grow in hot and damp regions. They are evergreen trees. Trees such as people and banyan are commonly found here. They shed their leaves in winter to protect themselves from cold weather. Such trees are called deciduous trees. Forests. Forests are thickly populated with different kinds of plants. Many varieties of trees, shrubs and herbs are found here. There are evergreen deciduous and coniferous trees in forests. Forests are home to a wide variety of animals and birds. Grasslands. 
Grasslands are large area of land covered with grasses and wild flowers. The roots of grasses and small plants make the soil rich and suitable for farming. They also bind the soil together. Grasslands do not receive much rainfall. There are not many full trees or bushes. All grasslands are home to a variety of wild animals. Coastal regions. Certain regions near sea coast receive high rainfall and the water can be salty. Plants that grow in these regions. Coconut, rubber, pepper. Aquatic plants. Aquatic plants grow in ponds or lakes. Some of them float freely while others are fixed. Aquatic plants are of three types. Floating plants, fixed plants and underwater plants. Floating plants. Floating plants have adopted to make their bodies light and be able to float easily. Water hyacinth and water lettuce are floating plants. They have spongy bodies that are filled with air. This makes them light which helps them to stay afloat. Wolfia or duckwood is another example of floating plant. Fixed plants. These plants have roots that are fixed to the mud at the bottom of the pond. They have adopted to be able to float, get enough air and sunlight to make food, avoid getting damaged by flowing water. Fixed aquatic plants have hollow and flexible stems that help the plants to stay afloat and bend with flow of water. The plants are thus not damaged by strong wind currents. Flat and broad leaves that help the plants to get sufficient air and sunlight. Waxy coating on the leaves to keep them waterproof. Stomata that are present on the surface of the leaves. Lotus and water lily are fixed aquatic plants. Underwater plants. Some plants remain completely underwater. They are also called submerged plants. They have adopted to remain underwater and breathe underwater. Hydrilla and tape grass are underwater plants. Their roots fix them to the bottom of the pond. They have thin flexible stems that offer little resistance to water current. Hydrilla has tiny leaves while tape grass has narrow ribbon-like leaves. The leaves of underwater plants do not have stomata. They breathe through small air spaces in their stem. These plants remove the carbon dioxide present in water released by aquatic animals. Parts of a leaf Leaf apex The tip of a leaf is called the leaf apex. Side veins Smaller tubes that run from the midrib and are called side veins. Midrib Running through the middle of a leaf is a thin tube. This is called midrib. Leaf blade. The flat part of the leaf is called the leaf blade. Stomata. During photosynthesis, carbon dioxide enters the leaf through the stomata. Oxygen and water vapor produced during photosynthesis are given out through the stomata. Process of photosynthesis. The plant draws a water and minerals from the ground through roots. The leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen. Sunlight gives chloroplasts energy to make sugar. How do plants use food? The food prepared by plants is in form of sugar or glucose. This food is then taken to all parts of the plant by the stem. Plants use food to get energy for growth. How do plants use food? The extra food is changed into a substance called starch. Starch is stored in leaves, roots, stem, fruits or seeds. These form the edible part of the plant, for example, lettuce, sugarcane, etc.